meet lightning so today's episode is dedicated to talk about ai technology in automobiles and what could be a better example than talking about tesla so this is 2021 model 3 of tesla and we're going to talk about different specifications in the car and most importantly the ai technology that powers how amazing this car is so we'll be talking about autopilot full self driving and also exploring the different features in the car so let's go on a joy ride So let's start talking about some of the basic yet not so basic features about the car. As you see, there are literally no buttons on the car or no knobs you can turn. Everything is controlled by this amazing dashboard which is powered by cellular network and it also comes with inbuilt navigation. Amazing part about this is that as your car is run on battery, uh it knows how much power is there in the car and whenever you are putting any location on the navigation, it shows you the nearest superchargers and the best route that you should take to reach that location while your battery is still in place and you can recharge it. Another thing is that just using this dashboard, you can pretty much control everything in the car. For example, you can open your frunk, trunk One of the important things that I wanted to talk about is the key. So basically, uh this car doesn't have a regular key like what you see in most of the other cars. It comes with this credit card like key and you just need to tap this outside the door and uh your car will be opening up and you can just switch on the car using this. Also you can control everything on um, on in the car using a mobile application from Tesla and that also acts as one of the like locks or uh, one of the keys for the car Amazing part is that it comes with a wireless charging so as soon as you just put your phone on there it starts charging so it makes sure that your phone never runs out of battery which is really amazing so this was the basic stuff um going on in the car now let's dig in more into the uh, ai technology of the car and that will be uh, that we'll be doing while we are driving the car and we'll show you various different sensors which are there in the car and how they are used to power the autopilot and full self driving in the car So as you see using Tesla is one of the most amazing experiences one you don't hear any of the engine noises and two it is absolutely smooth when you're driving the car so today we have Aditya who is helping us to um demo the car and so Aditya would you like to put the car on autopilot and show us how it works and now he's going to put it on autopilot voila So as you see he doesn't have to use the steering or the brake anymore. Woohoo! <laughs> okay. So the car is pretty much able to you know like detect all the other cars or incoming traffic on the nearby lanes. It lets you relax a little bit when you're driving. It also like reduces the stress of di- driving for anyone who's doing it for really long durations. So as you see the uh, technology in the car is really efficient you have so many different sensors in the car which helps you detect the lanes which helps you see all the different cars which are nearby uh, your lane and you're uh, driving nearby you as you see one of the cars just drove past us and tesla did a great job in detecting that right so these are like really important features which help you you know like have a amazing self driving power in the car because of these uh, different uh, sensors which are already installed in the car this is actually another uh, important thing because the car right now is completely enabled with sensors so everything the hardware that is required for a full self driving is already in the car so uh, when you're able to like look closely through all these uh, features or the sensors which are available you see that uh, there are various different sensors which are able to capture everything in and around the road and that is what really helps you know to activate the feature of self driving because the car is able to uh, understand what speed you're running what is the speed of the uh, of the what's the speed limit of the road what is the speed in which the other uh, cars are driving near you they are also able to detect if the nearby cars are going to change their lanes it also detects if you need to change a lane to go on to a different direction 
It is also able to detect all the traffic signals around you and this is what is really important because uh, once you are using the car for a full self-driving mode, all you need to do is just put your destination and the car will drive you to that location. So that's, that's where all these different features are really important because it captures everything around the car really, really well and it is aware of all the different signs on the road, it is aware of all the different regulations and rules which makes this uh, driving experience really seamless for you. Another important part as you see here uh, is the software update. So with passing time, your car is only going to get smarter and smarter. So you have over the air updates which comes to your car and you can just install them. So it comes with various new uh, features which, which is enabled with each and every software update. Here's another amazing feature about Tesla is that what you see here is that we have about 101 miles left that's the mileage of the car that's left um, but the amazing part about the car is that the little black line that you see going ahead was the acceleration that we were using and that that is something which will be eating up the mileage but as in, as in when you are driving you also see that it's a regenerating power so the little green line that you see on the street is basically regenerating the power so I have also seen this while we were driving on the road that a lot of the times the, the amount of mileage left or the amount of distance left in the car or the battery left in the car would not go down at all because it is regenerating more mileage than what we are actually using to drive the car. Uh, right now Tesla is powered with autopilot but it doesn't uh, come with full self-driving. It's not yet enabled uh, because it's still going through some of the regulations and in the country. Enjoying this ride on a Tesla is just heavenly. Thank you so much Aditya for the help. <laughs> okay, see you next time guys.